Hey guys, this is Martin for Techablock Pool, and today I'm bringing you a video on how to convert a Cord Mojo, which is normally a battery powered device, into a device that you can keep always connected either to your home theater or computer or wherever you want it to be. So, something like a Hugo, for example. Okay, let's get to it. Uh, what we're going to need is, of course, a Cord Mojo, uh, then bunch of tweezers and this little allen key. Uh, the size is 1.5 millimeters, um, basically the smallest one that I could find. Okay, first we start by turning the mojo upside down. As you can see there are eight little screws that we have to unscrew. And the last one. Let's try to take them out and put them into a safe, a safe spot that we don't lose them. They're all the same size, but I'm sure that finding a replacement would be quite hard. Once we have unscrewed all the screws from the mojo, we can slowly remove the cover and careful because the cover is actually two parts. This is the battery part and this is the processor and they're connected with this little cable. Now the conversion part uh, means that we're going to disconnect the battery from the mojo board and so we're going to protect the battery from charging and discharging and inflating with time and from overheating. So this is where the tweezers come in. I'm going to hold Maybe I'm just going to use my fingers. Oh, there we go. Easy peasy. So maybe not even tweezers needed. So we disconnected it. And now what we have to do is we have to place the cable in such a way so that when we put it back together, it's not going to obstruct any of these important parts on the mojo board. So what I'm going to try to do is place the cable in such a way so that it doesn't obstruct anything. I think this could do it. Let's see. Let me close it. No. I'll move it slightly. Let's try now. Yeah, now fits perfectly on all sides, as you can see. Let me close it. Okay. So now let me 
I'll put all of these screws back and screw them into the mojo. First I'm going to just place them into the corners. I'll screw the corners very lightly. nice and tidy yes it is now we can and the other four screws I'll just make sure that these are nice and tight not too tight because we don't want to break the screws in the mojo they look really fragile are back. Now of course uh, the mojo is pretty much dead because the battery is disconnected but that's how we want it because we want to be able to use the mojo connected to a system continuously without worrying about it. So let's reattach the power and the digital source. the mojo on. It makes its little noise at the beginning, but once it has been fully uh, powered on, it works just like normally. We can lower the volume. You can see it works perfectly. All right, thank you for watching. This has been a little guide on how to convert the Cord Mojo into a always-on connected DAC.